I guess I didn't tell you why I'm afraid of the dark. It's not a happy story. Well, if it's something heavy, maybe I'll pass on the story for now. I see. We can learn about that later in the future, I think. Oh, what is this here? <gasps> this sparkles for the kids and stuff. Okay, let's point this up. There we go. We got Jotaro. That was a little bit easier to spot than before. Some of them are a little bit hard to spot, in my opinion. That over there. What can we do here? I think I know exactly what I gotta do here. I need to shoot a dance into the monocuma that's just shown there. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Gonna use the others to knock it back in there. Or that happens. Or maybe that was the wrong thing to do. Whoops. Okay, that was a bad idea. Just hit it nicely. Two shots and kills that, okay. Let me go ahead and use this one here to launch it back to the dancing one. Okay, so that takes that one out. Now the dancing one, or the alert one, follows us and chases us. That big one over there doesn't seem to be caring for us, or our existence. Now it's firing at us. Some crap. Nice. Level up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how you do, Lin Gents. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, hack this in. What do we got? Bullets, bullets. I'll take that. Knockback bullets. That's really good. Let's take some of the coins here. Coins we can use for more spending in the future. I don't think we have to worry about it too much, but still be good to know. Letter from Toa Tower employee. Not the bag. Not the bag? Oh, don't tell me we gotta look for a bag now. Okay, Toka, we gotta look out for the bag. Look out for the bag. Just find the bag, we'll find something in there. Gotta look out for any bag out there. Gotta check the stairs first before I even activate this. Never know what could be around the corner. Battery, I'll take. So let's head down here. Okay, we're going down. That should be the first floor then, I think. Ooh. Challenge. If you want to get past, you gotta win at hide and seek. The one hiding is a good singer. Songs are good. And when that song is sung, Beast Monokuma goes crazy. But when the song ends, Beast Monokuma overheats. Kablooey. New technology can should be sketchy at times, huh? If you want to get past, you gotta win at hide and seek. The one hiding is a good singer. So we gotta be the ones to shoot the singing bullet. Songs are good, so we use sing a bullet. When a, and when the song is sung, Beast Monokuma goes crazy. When the song ends, Beast Monokuma overheats a kabalooey and it explodes. The technology can be sketchy at times. It's time for a tutorial once again. Now it's a really dangerous room with lots of Beast Monokumas lurking about. It appears that Beast Monokuma is controlled by the children's song. That's troubling. But don't be afraid. As long as you can find the singing child, you can disable all the Beast Monokumas. The Iron Maiden shaped like a Monokuma, aka Monokuma Maiden, is where the child is hiding. However, choose the wrong one and you'll get jumped by Beast Monokuma. So look for the correct Maiden while you try to avoid roaming Beast Monokumas. Beast Monokumas move a specific pattern, so it'd be a good idea to figure, out, figure that out. Also, when you're looking for the right one, you should trust the kid's singing voice. Also, a visual guide that will uh, help you if you go to, it will give you a good idea of where the singer is. Interesting. Okay. So you don't have to fight against those beast monokumas if you find the singing kit. It's a pain in the ass, but it's better than fighting against them. Definitely. Beast monokumas are annoying as hell. Alright, what have we got? Doing, idiot Omaru. Oh, we did get caught, didn't we? Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that.
Oh, there they are. They're pissed. They're pissed. They're so pissed. Hope they can't see us. We'll see. So watch us. Uh, see, see what the pattern is like at least. I think I'm gonna mess up. My bad. Okay, they're pissed. Yeah, they're pissed beyond belief. Any of them have a singing kid? I don't see a singing kid in any one of them. Oh, don't tell me we have to fight them now. We're gonna have to fight them, aren't we? Can I reset it? No, I cannot reset it. Probably have to fight him now, don't I? Yeah, looks like I do. will have to fight him now. Well, that's gonna suck. Just gonna try to find the hidden kid, but I guess we don't have the ability to do that anymore. Alright, Genocide Jack. Go for it. There we go. Ooh, we're getting them all, aren't we? And we got a bunch of haircuts. Brunch is spitting new haircuts here. Okay, we didn't do well. We can do at least some damage here. And I cleared it. I mean, we didn't clear it like we were supposed to, unfortunately, but we did clear it. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful next time around. Try to find a singing kid, because I didn't find a single singing kid anywhere there. Well, I'm never gonna fail that again. I had to fail at least one of them at a certain point, you know. Had to fail at least one of them to learn what it'd be like and how to react towards that. Good thing Genocide Jack was upgraded just enough for us to get past through this area. <laughs> With this. We can get outside, right? Nothing to worry about now, right? With this, with what? Oh, break through this, aren't we? That's probably what it is. The ghost that wants to die. Taro jumped off the roof of the kid garden, saying he no longer wanted to live. But now he has to live as a ghost. Life of a ghost is pretty hard. Even though he wants to end, it can't end. But Taro has an idea. Let's just change the meaning of live. And to do that, Taro made a very strange move. Which reminds me... Hey Toko, are you afraid of the dark because you're scared of ghosts? Are you serious? There's no way I believe in ghosts all that, and all that paranormal stuff. Hmm. Maybe liberal arts are the core, but I'm capable of thinking logically. But... Then why are you afraid of the dark? <sighs> you sure come gouging at me. Huh? Gouging? Are you an idiot? Gouging my brain to force me to remember my trauma? The reason I'm afraid of the dark is because of the experience I had locked up in a dark place. <laughs> Oh, you did something bad, so you got locked inside the closet? Happened to me as a kid, too. It's so narrow and dark, it's really scary, huh? Don't mess with me! This is me we're talking about. My story is way more traumatic than that. Well then. I was locked up in a place I didn't even know for three days and three nights. Aww. Three days? This is the worst. Not even a crumb of bread to eat. Ever since then, my mind can make dark and trauma subconsciously. <sighs> oh, that's why she's afraid of the dark. Just thinking about it now gives me goosebumps. Um... Why were you locked up? And who did that to you? Ah, uh, remembering is just... Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Who did that to her? Was there one of her parents? It was one of her parents, that's horrible. But I do wonder if you can break through this to get out here faster. Lad amount of to deal with. That's for certain. Ooh, I wonder if I can push this one. Nice. Good. Nice. Gotta get that one over there, though. Oh, there's something up there. I wanna grab that. Is something good? Oh, good lord. You... Oh, that's a horrible place to put it at. Can't reach. Oh, no, I can't reach it. No mind. Good. That's fine. That's okay. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, no. No grenades. Oh, 
Nice. And a level up. Very nice. Let's collect all that. Gotta go over there. Let me just check around the corners and everything. Looks like I'm safe. Is something good? But let's, okay, with three, I guess I can, can't complain if I only get three. I think this is where we gotta get out from. Alright, let's go ahead and leave out of here. Let's go ahead and get out. There we go. We gotta leave, we gotta keep going somewhere. But where do we go? From here. Now I'm tired. It's a good thing we got out of there okay. Mm -hmm. But being trapped in that sudden blackout? What's with that? It's those brats, obviously. They found out we contacted Future Foundation somehow. That's why they interrupted the communication. After that, we... We really won't be able to contact Future Foundation ever again. Will Makoto come save us? Like I told you, he can't! If Future Foundation shows up, Master will be in danger. But what about me? Is it okay that I'm in danger? I'm just a regular girl! I'm not part of Future Foundation or Hope's Peak or anything! Yap all you want. You can't change the facts. I mean, I do sympathize with, uh... I do... It's either sympathize or empathize. I mean, I don't know what's the best word for it to be, uh... To be used for this situation. I feel for... I feel for her. I, I feel for the girl. It's just... She's been put into this world, right? She's been put, Kamaru has been put into this world that she doesn't belong to. She has nothing to deal with. She has nothing to do with. She's not her brother. She's not anybody in Future Foundation. She's just this girl that somehow is persevering through this. I really do feel like she does have some sort of an ultimate. Toko, what you said earlier, you weren't serious, were you? About killing her. What do you mean? You said you were going to kill me. If you're going to just go ahead and summon Future Foundation, I will prevent it. So you were serious. Ooh. I mean, she asked her before. That's right, I am serious. I will do anything for the sake of my master. So you'd even kill your friends? What? Friends? Did you think I'd feel differently if you started using the word friend? Don't even try it. I won't be fooled. But that's horrible. I didn't mean it that way at all. I really, I really do trust you. <laughs> Matoko, don't give her that. Toko, come on. Don't be giving her that. And then Hendrix himself came to my live concert three times. In my dreams, anyway. <laughs> I'm guessing that's... What? You didn't think I'd still be talking? Well, guess what? I'm still talking! I'm guessing that sound is him talking really fast. Hey, by the way, when is that neat party with the pool of blood and hell gonna start? Whoa. This is gonna be a once-in-a-century event! I'd go even if I had to pawn off my wife for a ticket! <laughs> Massacre! Bonsai! M to the A to the motherfucking Sakura! Wow, massacre! <laughs> Who knew he was a rapper? Oh yeah, massacre! What an awesome word! It's downright magical. It has a great ring to it, a beat to it, the beatbox beating in my heart. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Hendrix was like, "Hey, how much longer are you gonna talk?" Hey, you can't stop me! I'd kill you. My fans would kill you. Or maybe I just have to win you over. Should I go help a granny cross the street or something? Jeez, that's ejected into my witty banta, you high bastard. Horrific idiot! <laughs> oh, that's what high bastard man, okay. Never mind, just be quiet. Oh. He shut up. I figured it would be a good idea to ask for advice every once in a while. But I guess not. He may be our advisor, but I really cannot stand all the noise every single time. We already have great ideas for hurting the adults, so we can get rid of them if we want. We've already lost so many of our friends. 
Let's just keep him in silent mode, hmm? Oh, he looks like he's about to burst. Oh, you're so nice, Monica! In that case, I have no objections. If Monica's fine with it, so am I. Now, let's hear about this plan of yours, Nagisa. How are we gonna annihilate the resistance? Simple, really. We crush their secret base. Oh, I knew they were gonna find out about it. Huh? Did you find out where it is? Yes. If we ambush the place they believe to be safe, they will panic and be flushed out. Like ants who've lost their nest, they will wander aimlessly above ground. And in that weakened state, we crush every last one of them. The resistance dies with them. Ooh, Nagisa! How vulgar! If you weren't on our side, I'd totally pee my pants in fear! Of course, we have every right to kill them. They've quite earned their fate. Yep, yep, right! As expected of our new leader. You sure have a good plan, Meow. Meow? Why'd you keep uh, saying that? Instead of right to kill them, isn't it more like duty? We promised Big Sis Junko that the Warriors of Hope will annihilate the demons. Woo! Woo! Nagisa and Monica are so vulgar, so cool! There's no way I can lose now! I gotta work hard and hunt, hunt, hunt down those demons! <laughs> Even though our team is missing a few members, we're really getting pumped up. Right? You guys think so too, yeah? Oh, for sure! I agree so hard my nodding looks like headbanging! Coming up with that bitchin' plan all without your advisor? You sure have grown! I guess he is just out to talk. What? I didn't mean like grown like in the adult way. You guys wouldn't like that. It's like complimenting a ninja for standing out so much. Whew! That was a close one. Damn close! Hey, why are you talking? Monica didn't give you permission. Aw, oh, be easy on me, Nagy, sir. Monica brought it up. Well. Didn't you hear her say, you guys think so? Obviously, I am included in there. Right, Monica? Hmm? I didn't mean that at all. Dun dun dun! Hold up! It's true that I may have chatted just a little too much, but talking is like my whole purpose in life. If you tell me to shut up again, I'll die! Die, I tell you! Probably, definitely, no, seriously, gonna die! Jeez, you're hopeless. Fine. Just keep it down, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank you. Ah, oh, gee. I sure hope there's no one in your group that can read mine. Don't want to say a lie that's gonna get sniffed right out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, Kurukum is a little obnoxious, but he's interesting. <sighs> Seriously. Hello. I apologize for being late again, everyone. And guess what the snake dragged in? Another snake called... <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, I don't want to call him hey, snake. Hey, hey, Where the hell have you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue! I don't want to call him like Snake Snake, but every single time I hear his voice, I can just imagine something ominous and terrible just slithering right in. Something venomous. I was venomous. running an errand for a Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? What are you, nuts? This is downright nuts! Wow. I asked for peeled nuts! Unpeeled nuts are like a completely different food! Ah, as expected of the great Miss Actress, your orders are quite detailed. Hey, even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history and I'll kill you. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. Guess I have no choice. I'll forgive you. Oh, her actress role and everything. That's what he brought up. Not! Take this! Take this! Useless servants deserve to end up like this! He looks like he's gonna be joined. The frosting. <laughs> good, good. Go for it. Uh, 
This is troubling. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. Well then. Now we're back to the tension between Kamara and Toko. Hey, where are you going? It has nothing to do with you. Oh, Kamara, don't be doing that, girl. Don't be doing that. I know you're in a horrible state right now. Nothing to do with me? You've got some nerve saying that while doing nothing on your own. Nothing? You think I've done nothing? And here's where the infighting happens. It's true that you've saved me a lot, but I've been working hard too, you know? Saying that I haven't done anything? That's too far! <laughs> what do you want? You want me to praise you? You want me to say thank you? Too bad. I've never praised or thanked anyone my whole life. And that's why you don't have any friends! Ooh. What? Oh, we're heading to the hardest, the hardest statements. Oh, come on, is that really a safe thing to do? Is that really a good thing to do right now? Leave me alone. I, I like being by myself. Rather than tagging along with someone like you, I'd be better off dying a solitary death. Someone like me? Meaning what? Someone who always has an excuse. A coward. Using that word normal as an excuse, always getting help from others. You're the type of person who always says, there's nothing I can do about it, right? You are nothing like your brother. Well, it's not like I really acknowledged him either. Oh, don't be talking about our brother. Do not, Toko. Fine. Oh. Where are you going? To find Shirakuma. You can go back to that dump if you want. It won't make any difference. Better than being here. You don't have to come with me. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I have my reasons. That doesn't make any sense at all. What is Soka meaning by this? Toka has a meaning to everything. Oh god, the infighting is happening. Now they're gonna be officially torn apart as the ultimate uh, as the ultimate survival team in this town. God damn it. Oh this guy! Chihiro's dad! Tachi Fujisaki. Smarty Pants Demon with short curly hair. It's not really strong, but it's super smart to make up for it. Hunting around machines is not a good idea. It's pretty serious, but it's still just a demon. It is my sexy charm to trick him. Oh, not sure who's the sexy charm they were using there, but some of the sexy charm was going to be used for that one. That's a little bit creepy, actually, as well. Granted, the kids are going to be seducing using sexy charms. That's really creepy as well. Oh, this infighting is not going to be working out well at all. This is going to turn out to something really bad and dramatic. I can feel it. I can feel it to my core. Brimming Girl Power. Let me check on that here. Got a new skill here. Brimming Girl Power. Healing item effect plus one? Yeah, we're gonna go put the points in. Got plenty of healing slots all open anyway, so... Anyway, looks like Toku and Komaru are gonna be staying together for a little while. Let's see what happens with that. And Toku's reasoning for staying with her still. She's out to get Byaku, but I mean... She's not being 100% honest about everything she's talking about. Oh. And they're being silent to each other. Silent treatment, huh? At least we got a save point. Meh, this is not gonna turn out well, ladies and gents. Something bad's gonna start happening here. Oh, also. Got like the sparkles as well. The fighter. Oh yeah, I forgot she is a fighter, apparently. So I guess we're gonna have to fight her later on. Let's three dance, not bad. Going to get out through here. Another puzzle. Another challenge, actually. <laughs> challenge. Labyrinth of Monoku Man. Will you be able to get through the Labyrinth of Monoku Man? If you beat it, you'll win a very nice reward. Start. Monoku Man's Labyrinth? And then I'll talk to each other. This is gonna be so weird. It's gonna be it's bad that I'm talking to each other. It's really bad. 
Last thing that should be doing is any kind of infighting. One billet. Well, I guess I'll take it. Why not? Can't really complain. But this should not be fighting right now. This should not be fighting. Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so that's what we're gonna have to do here, right? Yep, that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to get through the labyrinth here. We've also got to use the uh, the kid uh, the kid projectors in order to uh, pass through this area. Right, let's get us to go. This thing doesn't reach far, does it? No, it does not. Oh, can't actually reach that far. Already. Good. I don't know how we were able to get the other Monokuma through the shield. I guess maybe there's a, like a peephole or something that we used? I don't know. I don't know how this worked out actually, honestly. It's something just somehow worked out. Alright, let's keep on going. Hmm. The game again. More puzzles. Toka's still not saying anything. What have we got here? We got a car. Looks like we're gonna have to use the car for something. What have we got? Okay, we got a car. Toka, yeah, Toka's still not saying anything. So much infighting between them, I swear. Okay, so that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to use the uh, the hacking to bring the dancing monokuma over here, then have the dancing monokuma attract all the other monokumas, and use the car to smash them. Gotcha. Let's go do that. We'll go through the side. We can. Gonna spot me. Uh, is it? Someone come and gonna spot me over there? I'm trying to figure it out. Ah. If I can hit it from here. Yeah. No, almost. Did it work? I hope it worked. It worked. Okay, good. Good. I literally had to go through blindside there. I don't know how if there's a way to swap more perspectives or not, but I just had to kind of go with this. Just wing this perspective. Can we get anything? We cannot. We cannot. Okay, let's just keep on going then. We're doing okay so far. We're doing okay. Is it still going? Still more puzzles. Okay. Jeez. Enough already. Beloved son, I saw my son after school this morning and he came home this afternoon wearing some kind of a helmet I couldn't figure out. I thought it was some kind of a joke. When I asked him about it, Monokuma showed up out of nowhere and attacked me. I dodged the attack by a hair, picked up my son, and brought him here to hide. On the way, I discovered several things. It's not just my son. Children throughout the town are all wearing them, and they're killing the adults with Monokumas. It's as if my son changed to a completely different person. This gives me a creepy laugh. I'm not even sure if he recognizes me. I can tell he's planning to kill me. Remember the time I struck my son? Just once. But I love my son. I'm sure my son knows it. There's no way he wouldn't kill his own mother. Uh, if you're dead, probably killed you. It's really horrible and unfortunate what parents have to go through this in here, honestly. It really is terrible. Okay. Break ammo full? Okay, gotcha. What do we got here? Let's investigate this. Okay. Usable truth bullets, break and move, okay. That's what we gotta do. Break and move. Okay, what I think we need to do is shoot the one in the back, right? Shoot it shoot in, in the canister to make it blow up. If we kill that one, it's gonna make the side ones blow up on the side and kill the uh, the hard hat monokumas. So that's what we're gonna have to do here. Through the side here. Okay, just get this one. I think we just got it in the back here, right? No, we don't. You gotta get in the back of the head. They explode on the side. And kill the other ones. Right. And that clears it. And a level up. 
Okay, we're doing okay for now. We're doing really good. Got whatever currency we can. Not gonna be best currency, but hey, we'll take it. Let's go and get out of here. I think that should be it. Oh, there's a kid here. Let's talk to the kid. Paralyze? Oh! Down for tutorial. It appears you have obtained Paralyze. Paralyze is a tooth bullet that shorts out Monokuma electrical systems. Enemies hit by the ammo discharge electricity damaging nearby enemies. Top it all off, the enemy happens to be standing in water. Electricity would damage all enemies touching the water. Innocent science, right? Come on, give it a try. Wipe Mola with one shot. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. You sure received a nice reward. Are you still going to run away? Even with all your weapons? Still think you can't fight? I'm not doing this because I want to. She's not. She really isn't. See, Toko needs to be a little bit more understanding to Komaru. She is, she's been thrust into this world that she does not belong to. Rather than force her to do it, you know, rather than expect her to do the things that Toko thinks is right, she should try to help her a little bit. There's a Monokuma over there. Let's go this way, see what's, at, what's going on here. 